everyone today in this video i will tell you how to extract net cdf data using arcgis so open your arcgis and uh, you can find a red icon here it is our toolbox just click here our toolbox will open so under our toolbox there are uh, several options so uh, at the center you can find multi dimension tools multi dimension tool uh, click on the plus sign here here feature to net cdf make net cdf feature layer make net cdf raster layer and similar or uh, other option also so we will click on make net cdf table view so after making net cdf table view we can uh, get our data so here uh, this uh, tab will open click on browse folder where your uh, files are located so let's see my i am uh, uh, selected uh, aphrodite nets dot nc for uh, 2001 i will just open it so here you can see you know under the directory of your folder and the specified net cdf file is located so under the variable tab you can select which variable you are going to extract so i am going to accept the precipitation so pre cip is my variable so after selecting the variable just uh, move little bit downward here you can find row dimension so under row dimension tab we will select on time period so uh, means from start to end uh, in every row there will be one uh, uh representing one day okay so next uh, next we can see dimension values so under dimension values we can click uh, latitude and longitude and if you do not specify any value it will extract all the latitude and longitude uh, values within this netcdf file but uh, we are going to extract for our station let's suppose i'm going to add latitude for 34 similarly longitude is 73 or something like that so depending on, upon the station uh, latitude and longitude of, of our station so after click ok you it will start processing uh, the processing of uh, making uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, table view is almost completed so you can see our table uh, attribute table is uh, shown here as 2001 view so just uh, let's see how it looks open it you can see oh, id number time period and precipitation amount so in first of january 2001 there is a precipitation is 0 0.31766 so uh, you can copy these values into excel file so you can uh, click in uh, the upper right corner scroll down arrow, arrow down arrow you can click on uh, that and uh, you can see there will be multiple options so in multiple options you can just go and select all so your all variables are selected here now click somewhere uh, in this okay so you can just right click here and just you can copy selected so after uh, 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 press on uh, window button on your uh, keyboard uh, do not minimize it or close this table uh, yet so just press on window icon and you can find the excel here or in the bottom so just uh, i have opened my excel file here and just go on to paste Control v okay so our data is already in our excel file Thanks for watching my video. If this video is helpful, please subscribe my channel and share it with your friends. Thanks.